Hello everybody, this is Sonny from Software Winner, I'm back. Sorry for the lack of uploads, yes, 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 yes. I know, I haven't uploaded for a while. But I'm back, and normally I don't really upload in summer, because I'm doing lots of stuff, but hopefully this summer I can produce some good videos for you. And it's my birthday next Sunday, so birthday special coming soon. Um, if you haven't already known, my song Extraction, my new song Extraction is out now, currently on my YouTube channel. Uh, Sunny Wit, my music channel. Anyway, today's video we're talking about the the big fight that's coming up. Uh, it's actually today as I'm filming, and I'm probably going to upload it today. Blah blah blah. Um, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. Right, my predictions. So last time I predicted Jake Paul to win the Tommy Fury fight, and thinking of that, thinking back, yeah, like I don't know what I was thinking. That was a stupid... I don't know how it would go. But this time, I think I know how it will go. So we've got Jake Paul. He's had a good couple of pro fights now. Um, he's been fighting Tyron Wood. You know, all these big MMA names. Then he fought Tommy Fury, a professional boxer. First professional boxer he fought. And he lost. So where does he go? Does he go KSI? Does he go for another retired MMA fighter? Um, or does he go, you know, another pro boxer? He went for... A retired M I don't know, he's not retired, but he went for an MMA fighter who is old. Yeah. Nate Diaz. He's good. I'm not... Don't want don't to discredit Nate Diaz here. He's a great MMA fighter. But it's boxing. And I don't think he's going to win. That is my prediction. Jake Paul will win this fight. How? Um, I think TKO. Nate Diaz has only been knocked out once, I believe. I'm not a big MMA fan, so I'm just put it, just guessing that. I think I've heard that somewhere. Um, he's only been knocked out once in MMA, and that's with four ounce gloves. This is with ten ounce gloves. So I truly, truly believe that Jake Paul's going to win by TKO. I think the ref's going to step in either that, or it's going to be doctor stoppage because Nate Diaz has a lot of um, scar tissue all around his face. So one punch to that, that's going to start bleeding and could like, get a cut, and he might get um, a doctor stoppage. So either TKO or doctor stoppage I've got. I think doctor stoppage counts as a TKO, TKO anyway. So Jake Paul TKO. If I'm wrong, great. That'll be amazing if Nate Diaz pulls off the massive upset. But I think Jake Paul's going to win TKO. And I think that's a safe bet. I think that's a safe bet. I'm not going to be doing a watch party for this event. I just want to watch it and enjoy it myself. Um, um, the next watch party might, I don't know, for the next boxing event will probably be like November, December time. Um, so for my Chris, I'm uh, not, for, for, so that's my prediction, Jake Paul TKO. Oh, I have to guess a round, don't I? Um, I think it's going to be, so it's 10 rounds, which is crazy. That sort, that definitely, um, favours Nate because he has better, um, cardio and he can go, you know, he can definitely go all 10 rounds. So that's, that's something. If Nate Diaz was to win, it would be by decision, by just smothering Jake with so many, like, weird looping uh, punches every round, and that would just get him the points, the points, and then he'd um, win a decision. But I do think Jake's going to TKO him. Here's the thing. Will it go past the first round? I think so. There might be a knockdown in round one. I think there's going to be a few knockdowns before the fight stops. I think it's going to be round four. Ooh, I'm, st I'm stuck between round three and four. I think it could go four or five, but I'm going to be safe and say round four. Jake Paul, round four, TKO. Will it happen? Maybe. Who knows? Last time I predicted this, Jake Paul to win. He didn't. So we'll see what happens. But I'm fairly confident Jake Paul's going to win TKO or Doctor Stoppage round four. So for my summer videos, what have I got planned? Um, I'll do a f maybe I'll do a few vlogs when I go on holiday in next week. No, week after next. Next week's my birthday. I want to get a cool birthday special planned because I haven't done a birthday special yet, and I really need to do one. So I need to get that ready. Um, I'm supposed to have a song hyped up out on my birthday. I might be thinking of delaying it or actually cancelling the release in general, which is sad, but. It might be for the best. So we'll see what happens with that. I'll make a decision once I finish the video. So that song is up in the air right now. I don't think it's going to be... If it's not August 13th, I don't think it might happen at all. Because the song is going to be tough to make. 
and there is another song I really want to put lots of effort in, which will be released at the end of the month called Enough. And I think that's going to be the one that will definitely stay. But hyped up, that's in the air. Um, other things in summer. If you actually, if you have any suggestions for me, put them in the comments below. Um, I had lots of fun ideas for summer. I had a really big video planned, but I haven't yet to actually plan it or do it. Maybe I'll do it in the future. I need to do it before it starts getting cold because it won't work. So I think that is it for this video. Stay tuned because there are lots of other videos coming. That's my prediction for Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. What are your predictions? Put them in the comments below if you have any. We'll be watching the fight. What, what do you think is going to happen? Let's see what happens. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you later. Bye guys.